D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video we're going to be talking about Copeland compressors with Core Sense technologies can you see that so we're going to be talking about this device right here we call it a motor protector how does it work how does it interact with the system just a quick overview and then we're going to talk about this right here all right this might save your day you think it's a bad compressor but it's not all right but before we get into the video i want to mention two things subscribe if you haven't subscribed smash that bell icon so that when i upload videos like these you get them right away okay the next thing i want to tell you guys is that um don't don't forget if you are a preferred member you have the ability to ask me questions about this video right now once you upload it you have two hours watch the video ask me questions i will respond right away okay okay now that that's cleared up all cleared up you got the schematic you got the wiring diagram right here you got the instructions you got all that good stuff is that everything let's make sure you guys could pause the video and get all of this good stuff right here right just pause the video we can talk about it again you can ask me questions if you're a preferred member preferred members only get to ask me questions right away right away i'll answer you you can have a dialect okay all right so let's talk about this right here so the first thing i want to mention to you here is that when you arrive on a service call with a compressor like this if you see the sticker look out, look out for this sticker right here and i don't know if all the models are what modules uh, these are on but you see right here this um, a uh, advanced scroll temperature protection acronym ASTP and what that does once the motor windings motor internal windings hit around 300 degrees Fahrenheit the the compressor will stop pumping so the motor will keeps on turning keeps on running but the compressor stops pumping so you look up your gauges on the high side on the high side and then you want to hook up your gauges on the low side right or the low side over there high side and low side and then you said my pressure is equal this compressor is bad is that pumping nope check the temperature of the compressor crankcase if it's really hot give it one and a half hours or so to cool down and then check it again because it's just that it may be the compressor is in protective mode whereas it ain't pumping but the motor is spinning now if that keeps if that keeps on going on then what is going to happen is this this thing is going to kick, in, uh, kick into effect and what this is going to do is a sensor right here these blue wires it goes to the sensor back here pull it out see the sensor right there so it goes into the crown case and um, if I pull that out ah, well you can pull it out but it's just really tight on here sometimes there's extra ports Extra, extra terminals i gotta get a scooter what noise um those are the thermistors and on the internal to the compressor and it sends the temperatures of the windings so if the windings gets too hot it will trigger this device right here you'll see this red light goes into fault little flashes and it's going to open the controls circuit for the compressor right and then the contact is going to be de-energized and the compressor is going to shut down right and then in order to reset this in the place I'm gonna pull that out later on and show you guys. So in order to reset this, what you'll do, once this is in fault, so there's two faults this thing does. This does the temperature. In fact, I could just simply plug, unplug it right here. Unplug it right here. Voila. So, I'll, let's see if it's gonna go into fault. Um, we're, not call, we're not currently calling for the compressor to run, but still, see, here you go. Here's the fault, two flashes. One, two. And what do we see here? Two flashes. Blackout trip. Open or short motor thermistor. Number two. Okay, here you go. So that's it. Put this back in there. Come on, go back in. Come on. 
But this is not gonna reset right away. You're gonna just have a cycle power to the device. Oh, here you go. So even though the sensor is reconnected, as if the compressor would have cooled down if it got really hot, the windings. Um, to reset this device, what you have to do is disconnect the control voltage power, which uh, that's gonna be T1, T2. So if I pull, uh, I can't do that with one hand, right? If you pull the power, I'm gonna do that in a little bit. You guys could see it, but um, let's do that. So I got the power disconnected right here. One of the two wires, so T1, T2, that's the power. It's connected, put it back on. And we are reset now. We are green. Now, another, these two wire, wire right here, these yellow wire, M1, M2, that's your control circuit interrupter, right? This is wired in series with your high pressure switch or your low pressure switch. All right, this unit has a transducer in any way. This is a uh, transducer, okay? It's your normal switch, which is current a trip right now. I'm gonna reset them in a, I'm gonna reset them in a moment. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, um, so that's that, that's what works. And then um, in addition to that, it's monitoring the power of the compressor. So if the contactor is pulled in and there's single phase, like the, out of the three lines, there's only two coming, then there's another fault, okay? You have to correct the power supply. If the voltage is, if the phase is reversed, because you know the scroll compressor has to run a certain rotation. If you flip the phases, the compressor runs backwards, right? Again, if you got questions, preferred members, you got me right away. All the other members or subscribers, I get to you, I get to you. I usually do. All right, yeah, um, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna reset the, the high pressure. All right, questions about this again, comment section. Ask your questions. 